Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. This is a weekly reading for my earth signs. How are you, everyone, for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? All right, so I do these readings uh, every week. So this is for October 16th to the 22nd. I'll be posting these every Friday, so you can look forward to those. And let's see what message my earth signs need to hear today for the week of October 16th to the 22nd. Now, my apologies for the terrible shuffling. These cards are extremely slippery. So, all right, what do my earth signs need to hear? So we're getting the King of Cups. That's your first card here, my friends. Mm. Okay, so I'm already feeling like there's a lot going on in your lives here. Almost like disorganization. Like there's things going on around you that feel almost um, disorganized. Okay, and we've got our third card. All right, my friends, look at this. We are getting the King of Cups, Three of Swords, and the High Priestess. So these are the first cards I'm going to pick. And this is the tarot deck I'm using, Tarot of Mystical Moments. And what I like to do is I like to use the guidebook's description first and then tie the whole reading together with my own intuition. So let's go to the King of Cups here and see what... The King of Cups is going to share with us all today. All right. The King of Cups stands in a bright and sunny landscape. In his right hand, he holds a sailing ship. Okay, keeping it balanced even against rough waves. The turbulent sea inside of him holds large fish, representing heavy emotions that churn within. Even during these rough times, the wise king remains calm and steady. Withstanding every crashing wave, he manages to safeguard the ship, showing his caring and protective nature. All right, everyone. So this card is all about calming demeanor, accepting, stability, diplomacy, and steadiness. So I feel like I was saying when I was shuffling the cards, I felt almost like a disorganized uh, energy of, um, it almost feels like there's chaos around you, not directly with you per se, but around you okay and I'm feeling like a lot of you need to remain calm with whatever is going on around you at this time my friends okay and I know that a lot of you earth signs are very grounded okay and now is the time to remain grounded okay I feel like um you know um you like things a certain way and right now that certainty in the way things are kind of unfolding around you is making you feel like what is going on here why is the energy kind of all over the place right now so that is this week here okay so no matter what is going on you hold on to your um energy and keep that stable and whatever you need to do this week to remain grounded is what spirit guides are asking of you okay I feel like things are changing around you okay and you need to hold steadfast I feel like a lot of you need to also prepare or make a checklist this week for yourselves for what kind of things you need to do in order to prepare for changes that may be happening in your life this week here okay my friends we're getting three of swords all right let's see what three of swords is all about here with this guidebook three arrows are hitting a man in the middle of his heart Okay, his heart is represented by a large red rose that stands for the man's love and passion. The arrows, which represent painful words or deeds, have hurt in his feelings, have hurt his feelings. His eyes are closed and streams of tears are running down his face. The attack seems to have happened unexpectedly because the man wears no protection and his gesture is welcoming rather than defensive. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be some sort of heartache sorrow grief some sort of abandonment something coming in that you're going to feel um you're going to be hurt by someone or something there's something coming in and maybe this has to do with the um 
the things kind of going on with the changes that are happening around you. And I feel for some of you, this might be work related. Okay, there might be someone that takes a dig at you. And I feel that, you know, um, you're someone that if you are... I'm just getting here from spirit guides. You know, you put a lot of effort into your relationships and the people that you are around, you really truly care for them. And sometimes you have, um, it's almost like you can be judgmental, but in this case, I feel, um, it's almost like look at your home right now for togetherness. Spend your time with those that you can trust and that you love right now, okay? I feel like someone's going to say something to you that might hurt you a little bit, okay? And not to take this too literally or don't take it to heart because what they're saying is something that they're doing out of retaliation, all right? Um... It's probably a friend. It could be a lover. There's something going on that you're not seeing and you're going to find out this coming week, okay? And I feel for a lot of you, this is work-related. And then for some of you, it might be a potential partner, okay? And and it's uh, one of those things where you... I feel some of you may be approaching someone that you're interested in or have been seeing for a little while, while, sorry, I can't even talk, and they're rejecting you, okay? Or there's an, a position in your, at work, something, there's almost, I'm feeling like there's a rejection of something um, this week here with a specific person. I feel some of you, this might be a boss, or someone's going to say something and throw you under the bus. So you got to be very, very careful this week. Okay, my friends, just be careful of the things you hear and what's kind of going outside and what's being told. To... It's almost like I'm getting this feeling of you're being trapped by somebody. And I feel a very strongly this could be at work. So just be careful with those around you at work at this time. Okay, I feel there's a lot of changes. There's some turbulence happening around you. And wherever this turbulence is, whether it's at home, if it's in a relationship, if it's at work, wherever that turbulence is, is where this is going to happen for you. Just to be aware of it. Okay, um, we're getting a high priestess here as well. So let's see what the high priestess's message is here for you. So this is a warning card here, my friends, for you. So there is some turbulent energy. There's something going on that you are aware of or you might not be aware of. And with this card, I feel the high priest is to listen to your gut, my friends. Listen to what your inside, your heart and your intuition is telling you at this time because there's a lot that you don't know about what's going on in the background, okay? The Hierophant, oh, sorry, no, the High Priestess, sorry, my apologies, you guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, here we are. The High Priestess is standing between a pair of red curtains, protecting the entrance to a mysterious blue sky. She is the guardian of the unconscious mind and knows the secret to assessing those areas of sacred wisdom. She urges you to listen and trust your inner voice, which is represented by the blue shell near her throat chakra. Explore the unknown hidden places. The ship in the dark wave shows you the depths of your intuition that guides you on your journey of self-knowledge and understanding. Look at that. You've got two ships here. Okay, so... I feel like you are standing really well and strong. No matter what turbulence is around you, there's lots of water around you. So there's a lot of movement going on. There's a lot of movement. Okay. And both of these, to me, seem very similar. Okay. So I feel there might be some concealed secrets that you're unaware of. And... Um, 
just to know that because it can come in and directly affect you in some way. And I feel for a lot of you, this might be work related. I feel like wherever this turbulence is, wherever you're feeling this, this is where this is going to come in for you, okay? And to really uh, listen to your intuition because that will not steer you the wrong way. I feel like you're going to be able to handle this situation even though it is going to hurt. It's going to suck really bad with whatever outcome comes comes in here. It's almost like you kind of weren't expecting it to maybe you know bits and pieces of the information. But what's going to happen overall is you know, it's go, it's going to impact you in a way where you were not expecting it to. Okay. And it's because there's a lot that you don't know. There's missing pieces that you're unaware of at this time. And just to be very careful right now about leaking information to anybody around you, especially wherever this turbulence is. Okay. Um, and I'm not telling you this to scare you. It's I, I'm seeing that you are fully capable of handling things, okay? And you're t you're the type of type of person that can get the job done. You can handle things because you are so organized. And right now, spirit guides are asking that you remain grounded, okay? And uh, yeah, definitely something going around around you, not directly you. But you will be affected by it somehow. Let's see what else we're getting here from Spirit Guides. Okay, so we're getting stars, wishes coming through. So I feel like this is almost like meant to happen because it's a blessing in disguise for you. Okay, so whatever is going on... Um, this change, this turbulence, whatever this organize, like this disorganization or chaos around you is, is for a reason. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, the, my last three cards flew out on their own here on the side. So let's just use these just because sometimes spirit guides throws cards out for a reason. So let's, let's see this here. We got stars, Phoenix, grasshopper, and moose. So wishes coming true. I feel that this whatever event or um, disorganization or whatever the situation is going on around you at this time is for a reason, like I said. And there's something else that you're working on right now. And I feel like whatever it is that you've been wishing for, you've been wanting for a little while now is falling into place okay i feel there's blessings coming into your life and i feel whatever the situation is that's going on in the background is a blessing in disguise okay it's not going to feel good at the in the moment but there's a reason for it happening all right and know that there is peace coming into your life there is your wish whatever that wish is that you've been wishing upon here my friends um, your wishes are going to be answered and here we're getting the phoenix it's almost like something inside of you is going to awaken okay it's like a total transformation this is going to change your life in a big way okay there's something coming in that's going to change the course of you you yourself my friends um, it's like a renewal. It's something that you've been wanting for a long time. It's almost like a realization of, okay, this is no longer for me. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm, my path is somewhere else. I'm seeking a different path and your wishes are going to be granted. And I feel that you need to focus your efforts on what it is that you're wanting with your life right now and not to focus your energy, even though there's things happening you know, just be very aware and careful. If someone tries to come over and tell you information that you don't need to know, shut that down. Okay, because I feel you can get caught up in a big mess if you have information that you didn't need to have. It's almost like you being thrown under the bus or something. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And with the grasshopper, have um, take that leap of faith. Okay, the grasshopper is a good luck charm for some of you. Well, it is for a lot, right? So it's it's luck. Luck is on your side here, my friends. And not to worry. Not to worry about the situation, okay? You have the grasshopper here. Take a leap of faith. 
Don't worry about what's going on. Your spirit guides are letting you know things are going to work out for you and not to worry. And some of you are um, going to have news coming in um, about a birth of a son. Okay, so you're going to hear about maybe somebody having a child around you, whether it's yourself, um, but there's some good news coming in as far as a new family member coming into the mix here. And then we're getting moose. So this is all about um, independence, spending some time alone and really understanding um, what is going on. And this is right under the intuition card, maybe spending some time alone to see what is actually going on. What are the things that you are not seeing? Okay. And this is just overall. I mean, if, if there's stuff going on in the background, um, Spirit guides are asking you to really spend some time alone and just figure out what is it, if you can figure that out. That way you don't need to engage in anything that has um, not much to do with you here, okay? I feel that um, you got to be very careful. I feel this is work related for a lot of you, okay? And there may be um, some of you that might have something happening around your friend group or maybe around a lover, but right now I feel that you know what this is. You know where this disorganization or where, where this turbulent energy and this chaos is. I think it's been around you for a little bit now and you're aware of what is happening. It's just don't engage any kind of politics or gossip behind anyone's back. That is what I'm getting here from Spirit Guides, okay? Really use your intuition to guide you. Okay, and I feel like some of you are going to be branching off on your own. There's some good news coming in and um, yeah, there's like there's power behind you. You're getting the moose here. Okay, there's some confidence um, and I feel like you're going to remain calm and uh, calm, cool and collected during this uh, situation here. And that's what spirit guides are reminding you of. And we're going to get the last two messages here and see what spirit guides want to let you know before we end this reading. All right, my friends. Woo. Okay. One jumped out. That was a hard jump. You will get what you wish for, but it, it but is it truly what you want? Wow. Okay. So you are having a wish that's being granted here. Um, but spirit guides are asking, is it truly what you want? Hmm. That's an interesting question to ask. So what are you wishing for here? My friends, my earth signs, don't let people suck the air out of your spirit. There you have it. That's your message here. So you are going to have a, a wish being granted. And I feel for some of you, it'll be one of those things like, oh my gosh, this actually happened. And um, there's going to be so much, I feel there's, there's going to be a lot of expectations from you once this wish is granted. Maybe you're wanting to launch off on your own and be independent. And now because this is going to happen, there's more work required for you to do. And you're kind of like, oh, I didn't realize that this was what in, it entails. Like you have to do all of, there's so much involved, right? Or it could be it could be a number of things, but make sure whatever wish you are wishing for, you kind of have an idea of what it is uh, that comes along with this wish, because this wish is going to be granted for you, my friends. Don't let people suck the air out of your spirit, okay? No matter what is going on in your life here, my friends, don't let people suck the air out of your spirit. Don't allow their energy to affect you, okay? That is their energy. We don't need to be involved in any of that. And uh, spirit guides are reminding you, no matter what someone says, no matter what energy they're carrying around, let it be with them. Don't allow it to suck your air out, okay? Because you have so many good things that are coming in here for you, okay? So know that, be aware, and uh, there you have it, my friends. That is your reading for October 16th to the 22nd. If any of this resonates for you, please comment below. I would love to hear all about it. And if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, I'm doing these videos every Friday you can look forward to those make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell other than that I wanted to wish all of you a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching